Hey guys, so it is currently 25 minutes to 12 and at midnight I'm going to be starting my 24 hour readathon to raise money for Jacob's Appeal. I've very kindly been sent a Solving Kids Cancer t-shirt by the charity so thank you so much for that. And I'm now going to go and make myself something to eat before it gets to midnight when I have to start reading. And then I'm going to sort myself out with the first book that I'm going to read. Make myself a drink. I don't know if I'm going to start with coffee straight away or whether I'm going to sort of steady myself out with that because I don't want to peak too early with the coffee because I have a feeling it's going to need a lot of caffeine today. So I'm going to go and get myself sorted and I will update you again soon when the readathon starts. I thought I'd also quickly mention if you watched my last 24 hour readathon as well then you may have noticed that during the evening when I started reading at midnight I was being very quiet that is because obviously I live with my husband so he was in bed last time while I was trying to do this but he's currently away at the moment he's in Berlin for a few days so I have the house to myself so I'm going to be putting films on and keeping the TV on and stuff to keep me company because I don't like being at home on my own anyway but the fact that I'm at home on my own and I'm up in the early hours of the morning while it's dark it's not very appealing so I'm going to keep the TV on while I'm reading for a bit of company so I'm going to go and grab myself something to eat and I will update you soon. So it's now quarter to midnight and I've just eaten some pizza but I thought I'd just quickly show you the books that I'm going to be reading again if you didn't see the video where I announced my TBR list. But I've put these books in the order that I'm going to read them which is the order I showed them in the video. So I'm going to be starting with Unboxed and then working my way down the list. So it is two minutes to twelve and I'm just about to get settled down so I can start my first book as soon as it hits midnight. Just thought I'd show you the first book I'm going to read is Unboxed. I chose this one mainly because of the cover. I really liked it and also I'd heard really good things about it as well. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I will update you as I go along. So I'm going to go and get settled. It's one minute to midnight now so I'm going to go and sit down and get reading. It's just gone at five past one. Obviously I've only been reading for just over an hour but I've already finished my first book so I'm finished with Unboxed and I didn't know what this was about but I'm so glad that I read it. It was really sad actually and I found myself really fighting back the tears. So I'm glad I've read this. I'm now going to go and make myself a coffee and then start on my second book. My current film choice I'm having Into the Woods on in the background to keep me company I love the music in this film as cheesy as it is this is definitely my favorite so it's just gone quarter past two and I have just finished Cecilia Rahern's Girl in the Mirror this book had two short stories in it and they were incredibly short as you can see there but I have now finished it and I'm now going to start book three which I believe is the statistical probability of love at first sight so here is book three and I'm about to go and get myself settled and start reading again Hey guys, just another quick update for you. It has just gone 4am and I've only got 100 pages of this book left now. I'm really enjoying this one. I had a feeling this was going to be my kind of book, so I'm really glad that I'm enjoying it as much as I had hoped. I'm going to take another break now and go and make myself another drink. I'm possibly going to have a cup of tea, maybe some biscuits as well. I don't think I'm going to keep drinking coffee after coffee after coffee because I'll be buzzing and then won't be able to read anything at all so I'm going to try and pace myself as I said earlier so I've also put on a different film now I've got Captain America Civil War as you will probably know I'm a complete Marvel nut so I had to put a Marvel film on at some point I'll probably put another one on as well but I'm going to go and make myself a drink and then finish off my book just 
gone ten past five and I've now finished book three. I absolutely loved this one. It was just such a lovely story, just the kind of thing that I needed right then because I like a good romance. Now the next one I was going to read to try and break up the types of stories was Charlotte Says. This is an advanced reader copy that I was sent and I was going to read this one next but because it's still dark I don't particularly want to read a scary book at the minute so I'm going to skip that one for now and move it down the pile and I'm going to start The One Memory of Flora Banks. So I'm just in the kitchen at the moment, it is currently 5 to 7 and I've just given myself a little bit of a break from the reading at the moment because my eyes are starting to sting and also I can feel a little bit of a headache coming on so I'm just going to take a break for a little bit. I'm going to take some tablets because I don't want this headache to turn into anything that's going to stop me from reading anymore. So I'm just going to put my stuff in the dishwasher from when I had tea earlier and then I might even have some breakfast, I know it's only 5 to 7 but I'm going to eat something at some point, so if I'm having a break from reading, I might as well do it now. I'm actually on page 113 of the One Memory of Flora Banks at the minute, so I'm over a third of the way through of that already. So I'm really happy with how the readathon's going so far, and I can't wait to read some more. So it's just gone quarter past nine in the morning. It's lovely and sunny now, so I finally opened the curtain so it doesn't feel like night time in here. I finished The One Memory of Flora Banks, and I did really like it. It's very different to what I thought it was going to be, though, but I'm really glad I read it. That was part of the WH Smith Zoella Book Club as well, so I'm really glad that I finished that now because I'll be able to write the review soon. And now, because it's light outside, I'm going to start reading the horror book that I've got here, which is Charlotte Says. This is the prequel to Frozen Charlotte which I read last year so I'm very excited to read about this. That's much better, I feel a lot more human now, I've just got a little bit of makeup on and I've put a brush through my hair. So I'm very quickly going to make myself another coffee, so my second coffee of the day and I'm going to have some biscuits as well which I have a feeling are going to be my staple diet for today and then I'm going to carry on reading Charlotte Says. So this is my lunchtime update, it's currently quarter past 12 and I have just finished Charlotte Says. I absolutely love this book, I think I might even prefer it to Frozen Charlotte but it was so good and what I'm going to do now is stop and have some lunch, I think I've got some soup in the fridge so I'm going to have that and then I'm going to start my next book after that. So these are the last three books that I put on my TBR list when I was planning the readathon and this was the original order that they were going to be read in but because Charlotte Says was a longer book than I thought, it was because the font was quite small, I think I'm going to change the order a bit because this one's quite long as well so I think I'm going to go for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland next and then when I've finished this one I'll decide between the other two which one I'm going to read after. It's just gone half past two and I have finished Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and I've picked up Beauty and the Beast's book of the film and it would not be right to have this book and not have a cup of tea in my chip mug. So it's just after half past four and I've just finished the Beauty and the Beast book. I did this in exactly two hours so I'm very happy with that. And I'm about to go on to my eighth book which was the last one that I put on my TBR list because I only expected to be able to read eight. But I reckon that I will be able to read The Girl of Ink and Stars actually pretty quickly. It's not the longest book. A lot of the pages in there have got like artwork around the edge of the pages and it takes up some of the space. And also there's a few pages with maps and stuff. So it's actually not very long at all. So I'm going to start this one now, but I have a feeling I'm going to end up having to pick a ninth book, which I didn't anticipate. So while I'm reading this, I need to be thinking of which book I'm going to do afterwards if I have the time. I'm also deciding when to have a bath as well, because I do love a bath. I've got a lush bath bar upstairs that I'm desperate to use, but I'm trying to decide whether it would be a good idea to have one soon and get it out of the way, 
or whether that's going to make me really sleepy and then I'm not going to be able to read very well afterwards because I do like a long bath where I lay in there and read a book so I will get reading done while I'm in there but at the same time I don't want it to make me too tired and then not be able to read very much afterwards. I also need to think about what time I'm going to have dinner but I've drunk so much tea and coffee and had a lot of biscuits and my mum turned up a little while ago as well with a packet of shortbread so I've eaten some of that as well. So a lot of biscuits today but yeah I'm going to think about when I'm going to have dinner. I've got salad for my dinner so I feel a little bit healthier for that. But yeah I'm going to have a little think about what order I'm going to do things in and whether I will need a ninth book while I start The Girl of Ink and Stars. So I've read two chapters of The Girl of Ink and Stars and I've now decided that I'm going to go and have a bath in the hope that it will perk me up a bit more. So I'm going to go and have that now and then afterwards I'm going to have my dinner. But I'm going to take this up with me and read some of this in the bath. anyone is curious this is the bath bomb that I'm about to use and this is what it looks like I'm not very good at describing scents but I think this one is quite citrusy so let's see what it looks like when you pop it in the bath have at least brushed my hair before I came down knowing that I was about to film. So just a quick update for you, it has just gone half past six and I've been in the bath, obviously I wasn't going to film while I was in there, and I read 130 pages of The Girl of Ink and Stars, so I've actually got less than 100 pages left to read of that one, so I am going to have to choose a ninth book to at least start reading. But for now I'm going to make myself some dinner, I'm going to have some pasta and some salad I think. I definitely need something green because I've had a lot of biscuits today and a lot of sugary coffees and things like that. So I'm going to make myself some dinner now and then I will update you again soon with my reading. Just in case anyone is curious as to what I'm having for dinner, this is butternut squash and sage ravioli and I've got a lot of rocket there. It's quarter to eight in the evening and I have finished all eight books that I set out to read for this readathon. I'm so happy that I've managed to read all eight, but I have got four hours left. So I am going to pick myself out another book that I'm going to try and read before these four hours are up. So I've just realised that I forgot to update you. I chose a ninth book and I am reading Happily Ever After by Kira Cass. And this is a collection of short stories that go with the selection series. So... I'm working my way through this, I'm 116 pages through at the moment, so I'm really enjoying this one, I loved the selection series so I've been wanting to read this for a while, so I'm hoping, obviously that's a lot there left to read, and it is quarter to nine, so I've got a little while to try and get through this, but I don't know if I'm going to get the whole thing finished, I have a feeling I'm probably going to be about 50 pages shy of finishing it. But I'm going to try my best, I'm going to go and get myself another drink, I'm not going to drink coffee now, I'm going to stick to tea. Um, and then just maybe have a couple more biscuits just for a quick sugar boost and then I'm going to battle through this. past 10 and I'm really struggling now like, I could cry I'm that tired I look to be honest I look like I've been crying I haven't my eyes are just really puffy but I've, I've had enough now this has been a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be I think I might actually be able to finish this book which is the worst part I've not got that much left I've got about 100 pages left and I've got an hour and a half so I should be able to do it but I'm really struggling. I don't think I've ever had my eyes sting this badly before. I, honestly, I can't wait for the next hour and a half to be over. I'm so glad I did it and I'm so glad that I pushed myself to do this readathon without having any sleep because in the last one I did I slept for like seven hours. I'm so glad that I've done it but I can't say I'll be rushing to do another one without sleep anytime soon. 
So I'm going to use this last hour and a half to push myself and try and finish this because the sooner I finish this, the sooner I can stop because I'm not starting another book after this, even if there was time left over for me to at least put some effort in and start a new one, I don't think I can. Which is kind of sad because I'd quite like to have said that I'd read 10 books or at least got onto a 10th book, but I can't. I just need to finish this and I need to go to bed. I've done it. It is quarter to midnight and I'm finished. I've read nine books in the last 24 hours and I'm absolutely shattered. I'm not going to cry on camera. I shall wait until I'm done <laughs> filming. I'm just going to put this book down there. I'll do a proper wrap up tomorrow when I've slept and talk about what I've read and count up how many pages I've actually read and stuff like that. I'm actually struggling to keep my eyes open. So I'm going to go upstairs now. I'm going to go and brush my teeth and I will speak to you tomorrow when I do the wrap up. Hey guys, it's the day after the 24 hour readathon now and I've just decided to come together and do a little bit of a chat about the books that I read. But first of all, does anyone want to have a guess at what time I woke up today? So I went to bed straight away at midnight. I got up at half past eleven. Half eleven. So by the time I'd actually managed to roll myself out of bed and make myself even look slightly human this morning, it had gone midday. So I've had enough sleep now, I think. I actually, I still feel a little bit fuzzy around the edges. I do feel like I need more sleep. I think it's going to take me a little while to recover from that. But I'm now going to chat to you about all of the books that I have read over the 24 hours. Before I show you the books, please remember that if you haven't donated and you would like to, I will leave a link to the Just Giving page in the description box below. This readathon has been to raise money for Jacob's Appeal, it's not just been for me wanting to do it. I don't think I'll be doing another one where I have to stay up for 24 hours solid ever again. But I definitely would say that it was worth it, so please donate if you can. And I'm going to get started talking about the books now. The first book I read was Unboxed and I read this one really quickly, I didn't know anything about it, I picked it purely based on the cover, but I really enjoyed it, it was very different to what I pictured it being based on the cover anyway, but I really enjoyed it, it's a very quick read and I would definitely recommend it. Then I read Girl in the Mirror by Cecilia Ahern, and Cecilia Ahern is my favourite author if you don't know, and this is just two short stories, as you can see it is very short, and I liked the first one, although it did actually make me a little bit panicky, it's about being trapped in a mirror. And the second one was okay, I didn't love them, I definitely prefer her other books, but I still really liked it. Then I read The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight and I absolutely loved this book. It's all set over a 24 hour period and it's just a lovely romance story, would definitely recommend it if you're into YA romance. Then I picked up The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr and I've been desperate to pick this book up for so long now, but as it's part of the Zoella and Friends book club with WH Smith, I finally got the chance to read it. And I really liked it, it was different to what I thought it was going to be, but I still really enjoyed reading it. I then read Charlotte Says by Alex Bell, this is an advanced proof copy, and this is the prequel to Frozen Charlotte if you haven't read that. This is a horror book, so if you're not into horror books this might not be for you, but I hate anything scary, but I really enjoyed this one. I'll be doing a review for this book as well at some point, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested. After reading a horror book I decided to pick up a children's classic so I went for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and I haven't actually read this book since I was a child myself so it's really nice to finally get to read it again. Then I picked up this edition of Beauty and the Beast, this is the book of the film and I flew through this as well and you could really picture the film as you read this if you've seen the film obviously, if you haven't then that won't help but I really liked reading this although I would rather watch the film. The next book I read was The Girl of Ink and Stars and again this is another one that I didn't know anything about when I picked it up but I kept seeing the cover everywhere and it's winning awards and people kept recommending it so I picked it up anyway and I ended up really enjoying this one. So those were the 8 books that I originally picked out and set myself to read for the 24 hour readathon and I actually finished those with 4 hours to spare so I was like well I need to pick another book I'm not just going to give up with 4 hours left. So I decided to fill the time and I picked up Happily Ever After by Kira Cass and these are short stories all based around the selection series so there are parts in here about different characters throughout the selection series and there are bits in here that are set after the last book and things like that so I really enjoyed reading this and it was nice to get a little bit extra for some of those characters. So those were the nine books that I read for the 24 hour readathon and I'm really proud of myself for being able to do it. I know that some people will probably just look at this and think 
oh well, you've done is read books but honestly it is so difficult to read solidly for 24 hours because that's basically what I did I very rarely stopped I only stopped to make myself a drink or to make myself breakfast lunch and dinner or to use the bathroom or to run a bath literally that was all I stopped for so I'm really proud of myself for doing it but please don't forget that this was to raise money for Jacob's Appeal if you haven't already donated I will leave the link in the description box below to the Just Giving page if you have donated thank you so much for donating and for showing support for this thank you so much everyone for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you all again soon with another one bye